Who's ready really? to go to prom? <laughs> I never graduated. Fair enough. I never went to my prom. Oh, you didn't? I never. You didn't want to, right? I didn't want to. You didn't want I to. I hated all those people. Eh. <laughs> Do you remember anyone? Well, I don't. At least I don't. What? Remember what? People. From high school. I do. I do, I do. But uh, but I still hate him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna play Monster Prom tonight. Because why not? So... We're two players. We're not three. Yeah. Two players. So let's do a short game for now. Really? Alright, hmm. so... Uh, let you be the narrator this time. Okay. <laughs> ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Alright. Player one, I... Mm. Oh, please. <laughs> Let me be the best. Who's the best? Yellow. Okay, I was uh, gonna yellow. pick him. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll pick Mr. Frankenstein then. Mr. Bangelstein. He's Name? got bangles, right? I'm going to be... <laughs> Zadie. Zadisk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Little I'm Zara. I'm gonna be Zadie. A little zaddy. <laughs> Pronoun, yes, I'm a he. So you want this guy, right? Yeah, and call me Rufy. Yes. <laughs> I'm the school you're junkie. Ru you're Rufy. <laughs> I'm the school junkie. <laughs> uh, Rufy. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Rufy. And I identify as? How can I identify? You can be a he, a she, or a they. I'm so high, I, I identify as they. Okay. Yeah. Rufy. <laughs> we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The monster prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19 years old, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. I like where this is going. Yeah, me too. She kinda hot. I kinda like it. Damon LaVey, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. No. I should have been playing as him. Too stereotypical for me. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Now that's what I like in a man. A man after your own heart. I'm after my own huge heart. <laughs> and my cardiopathy heart. Liam the Lion Court. 4. 4XX. Kinky. A hipster vampire who sent off his demeanor hit that he was truly a lovable dork. Polygeist. 22? <laughs> a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong thing. A party ghost. Party ghost. And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. That means... If she looks at her cell phone when the cell phone turns to stone... If she's talking to you, like, doing, like, a video chat from her phone, do you get turned to stone? Or you just get stone hard? No. Uh, and what, if you, what if she talks to you by Discord? <laughs> then double rock hard. Oh! What she must do is, she can only transmit the the front camera. Yes. If she does a live stream, it's anonymous. She always goes she, anonymous. She has face cam. <laughs> yeah. Stone hard. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we had only two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Monster Frost, stupidest pop quiz ever! Okay. Now, <laughs> our minds were rotten, but they are rotten in so many different... Welcome to... I agree. 
Mm. Welcome to the fucking stupidest <laughs> magazine ever. Crazy exes. How to deal when they just won't go. Hot or not? Take this quiz to find out. I'm afraid what she's what she can suggest about crazy exes and how to get rid of them. It works. Hey man, if I get lucky, I'll be one of those crazy exes. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sy sicko you are. Psycho. And I never got my PhD in bullshit. I never liked it. I have a PhD. Wink. A really, a really big PhD. Yes, a really big pretty PhD. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever trademark. registered trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character sets. Okay, so this is like D&D, &D, but like having a VN. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Okay, let's start. Monster and Prom. You wish you were... Alright, so I have to answer that one. I wish I was raised by a really progressive marriage between a kick-ass venomous snake... SNAKE! And actual fire. I love fire, and I see no issue with being raised by it. I like it. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as his disciple in the ancient ways of rat DJing. <laughs> I read Rajjing. Rajjing. Uh, a pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech moguls who own some of the most profitable companies of Silicon Valley. They would be kick ass role models and wild wolves. Sick. Although I am inclined to agree, I would like to be raised, raised by, by, snake. by Venom Snake. Yeah. Yes, and fire. I mean, yes. That's metal. So now you. I wish I were raised by. A really progressive marriage. Uh, okay, it's the same options. Yeah. But I'd have to go... Because if my character is a really high junkie who identifies as they, it's either progressive or the old man. A really junky old man. I mean, wolves don't get high. I say you're an old man. I'd say the old man. So bold and you're so fun. Be a visionary. What will the next big social media craze be? Arbert. <laughs> From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded do, to do through the app by its users. Uh huh. Greek agoras, like literal Greek agoras reinstated in our cities. Places where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That's social media I want to log into. That's true. Bullshit. It's <laughs> Facebook. But each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. And the money goes to the people exposed to that bullshit. Oh my god, yes, I want this to, I want this to be real. Okay. Either Arbor, uh, Agoras... Which one's fun? <laughs> so fun. Uh, Agoras. Okay, Greek Agoras. So wealthy and you're so smart. Your partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, which you totally forgot. Quick, come up with an idea for a great gift. The head of their fiercest enemy. That's uh, something like I would do. The abstract would you like it? of gratefulness. Sure. Oh well, I mean, they would have t they would have stolen me the chance to actually enjoy killing them my killing them myself. So, yes and no. Uh, a silly toy that makes silly noises. A pony, always a pony. Anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sort. So I'm guessing this one will be yours. Anything on fire or a weapon? No, no, a weapon on fire. Yes. Yeah. And you, I guess, yeah. Anything capable of leading to an overdose of some sort. Oh, uh, did I win the heart of my... I mean, I guess, like, you start with, like, a boost with her. Yeah. But, I... yeah, who, who, who are you going to go after? The sadist. Damn it. <laughs> we can't compete. This could be a problem. <laughs> she likes roofies. My roofies. <laughs> I was gonna say I was, I was gonna add something else to that, but I refrain. <laughs> it would be too inappropriate. All right, so it's, I so I I come up first. So go ahead. Okay, so I, you have to choose where to go. So uh, because I'm a badass, I'll go to the uh, to the uh, library because I'm a badass. You know? A smart badass. That day, you spend some time on the library's PC, you playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? It's time to head off, so fuck it. I agree. You gained two money. Okay. You're chilling out. Oh, wait, you're the narrator. You're chilling out, not murdering anybody, when Damien slinks up to you. 
He's holding a large sack with the words definitely not a corpse winning on it. Whoa. You do it. Okay. Hey, um, you're not going to believe this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. You never would have guessed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm actually responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. But let's say he and I apparently had a very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is, is kind of your thing. Kind of it is. Share your brilliant solution. Disguise him as a drinking fountain. No one will know the difference. Just chuck him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly with my collection of vintage dead bodies. I mean, it's Frankenstein, basically. True. It's, well, it's very Zaddy. true. Zaddy is technically a Frankenstein monster. But I, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Chuck him in my garage. You throw the corpse in the back of Damien's dread chariot and hoof it over to your garage. Holy hell! This is all yours. Some of these are total classics. Are these all yours? <laughs> Elvis Presley, Amelia Earhart. Fuck! You've got three popes here. Which which three? <laughs> I spent all this time trying to be a great murderer, when the greatest murderer of all was right, well, murderer of all was right next to me the entire time. I always knew it. David Lovely lays what can I say? his mangled corpse next to your pristine collector's items. A look of awe on his face. Joke's on him. You're actually just a really <laughs> accomplished grave robber. You nice. gain I like this smarts and what? And I, I think. Charm? Yeah. So where are you going? Where should the sadist be? She's like preppy and she's like ah, da, she, she'd be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip on class. I'm going outdoors. Okay, outdoors, so where's outdoors? Okay, there's outdoors. Woo! I'm dabbing. Yeah, look at that dab, baby. <gasps> that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. How? Oh. You know, 300? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> Someone summons demons from a nightmare to dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? Dab it's a red party. Dabbing on them demons. Yeah. You gain plus two fun. Interdimensional dab. You gain plus two fun. You know. You, miss you know this Liam and Polly taking a break from the rave. You dance over to join them. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. It's her. Yeah, we we're just talking at the insane music festival we're going to this weekend. You're going, right? Shit, you forgot to get tickets. They're probably all sold out now. There's no way you can afford to pay a scalper. Obviously, you tell them you're going though. You never let the truth get in the way of talking to hotties. <laughs> Did you read? Did you read her sweater? Santa's favorite ho. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> ho ho ho. <laughs> yes. I can wait. All my favorite bands are going to be there. Bradley, imagine a fucking <laughs> dragon, an actual dead mouse. Wait, Bradley, which one's a Bradley, right? Or maybe I don't know. Imagine a fucking dragon. Imagine like, a fucking dragon. Really, imagine a fucking dragon. It's different. Imagine a fucking dragon from imagine fucking a dragon. You know what I mean? <laughs> that sounds hot. <laughs> and, uh, and there's only one, mouse. one, just one character that does a donkey. Wink. An actual dead mouse. Personally, I'm most excited about Veggie Scales. Their lead guitarist is a cucumber. Never done before. Oh, finally, vegan rock. God damn it. Hello, friends. What are we talking about? Is it a grand ball? Ball? You want to see some balls? Oh, um, sort of. It's like a grand ball, except everyone's more naked and dancing, ex dancing is sexier, and there are a lot more drugs. That's my spot. I think there's more. I think she's more your style. What is drugs? You know what? You wouldn't understand. It's a peasant thing. Oh, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> no, wait. This is perfect. If you can convince Liam and Polly to invite Miranda to the music festival, maybe she'll cover your ticket too. Which one's Miranda? The, the, the mermaid girl. I think I won't get her. I already forgot her name. <laughs> so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's Polly. He's Liam and she's Miranda. Okay. 
Uh, royal status? If a party happens in the forest and there are no party virgins to be beholdered by it, is it really a party? I think you know, it, will, it will attract Polly's attention because virgins. So you're going after Polly? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I got it! <laughs> Did you say virgin? What, are you not? Of course I am. I'm a princess, and I'm sick to death of nefarious warlocks trying to tempt me into the woods to be sacrificed. Wait, wait a minute. A warlock can use sex spells? I mean, he uses dark magic. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> but I mean, if you're into it, it's, it's no longer dark magic, but uh, it's only if you're into it. But what magic can a warlock do that would be kinky? Anything Chains, possible. binds, making you levitate, using specters and summoning tentacles. Yes. It's not like I've looked this up or anything. <laughs> I'm getting um, ideas. We're not warlocks. And even if we were, only a vanishingly small percentage of warlocks actually... Liam, now's not the time to get on your high horse about the warlock rights. I knew it. You're warlocks, all of you. I swear, it's enough to make me long for my deflowerment. Oh, man. Uh, I'm right here. Um, With all the trouble it causes me, it's hardly worth the ability to attract and imprison unicorns. You imprison unicorns? Ran the stumps off in a half, followed by like 15 unicorns. Two boldness and <laughs> minus one, one. One of the unicorns offers to sell you a ticket to the festival, but you can't afford it. Lame. You lose minus two boldness and minus one smarts. If you lose a negative number, does that mean that you add? Because it's like minus, min, because minus negative two boldness, that means plus two boldness. You're right. But I think it just, I think it just, bah. All right, challenge. Everybody chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud, the rest of the players before clicking. All right, I'll go. Brad Pitt. Damn it. Okay, I'll go. I forget his name. Damn it. I will go. Where does he start? I will go with Mark Hamill. Okay. Play order decided based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity will secretly a vigilante superhero. Start debating now. All right. So I said Mark Hamill, who is already by precedent. He's not just the Joker, but he's Luke Skywalker. And Darth Bane. And Darth Bane. <laughs> and also played Harrison Ford on an animated special. So I think he's got what it takes to fight crime. Meanwhile, Brad Pitt. He's just a movie star. He's by day. By day. But at night. He's at still just a movie star. So I go first. Yeah, I think you win. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we cut? Hang on. Let's see. Let's see where this is taking. So I think we now have to choose we're gonna, who we're going to sit with. So how about fuck you? I'm going to go after the, 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 the mermaid girl. Polly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serves. So wait, actually I got serves who ate for you? <laughs> of course, I find it to be terribly undignified, so I must never do it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> of course. Hey, me neither. What are the kinds of crazy serves have you got? Well, I have a serve to go to the bathroom for me. He eats the bathroom? A surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping me at my silverware in alphabetical, alphabetical order. Wait, fork, 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 knife, fork, fork, fork. Spoon. Spoon. Spork. Spork. Spoon. <laughs> and then no, but spoon goes before spork. Yes. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. Wow, that's a lot of serves. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. You've got none, but I'm going for you. You know what the other limit is for our imagination? What? Next episode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later. Bye. <laughs>